everybody, it's Dina, and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today is December 29th. It's actually my 15-year wedding anniversary. Um, and uh, let's see, the last time I posted a video, I told you that my husband took a home COVID test and it came back positive twice and once not. Um, so he did finally get in to take a PCR test on Monday. He had to get there at like eight in the morning. I mean, sorry, five in the morning, but they, they to wait in a line. There was still, there was already tons of people in the parking lot and he finally got tested at eight in the morning. And they said it would take one to three days to get the results, but we still don't have the results. Um, he still has zero symptoms. I'm still feeling under the weather, nothing major, just headache, tired, stuffy. Um, but my home COVID test came back negative. So go figure. And my kids did. Who knows? So we're just, we're not, we're just been very low key. Um, since um he you know he's not going out of the house or anything into public so um we've just been i've been resting um also it's you know after christmas the house is a mess it's a disaster um my younger son evan um i told you guys in one of my past videos that he's into making little fingerboards or skateboards that you use with your fingers um, so he got a lot of stuff for that for Christmas. So we have like this craft room downstairs in our, it's our basement. It's the unfinished, unfinished section of the basement, but it's somewhat finished. It's got like a little, like a utility sink and a counter and, you know, I think linoleum floor. It's not concrete. Um, and so I used to have like all my craft stuff in there, which I very rarely get to anymore. So yesterday, and it was a disaster. When I say disaster, I mean, there was stuff all over the place. Couldn't even walk, like you would step over stuff. So yesterday, um, I took some Dayquil and rallied and um, got that organized for him. And we set up his skateboard park, which is a table with all these um, obstacles that you buy that they're little, like little stairs, little rails, little um, ramps, half pipes. It's so adorable, but he set that up while I set up the tool section for him, his workshop section. And I felt really good getting that done yesterday. It made me exhausted today, but, um, it's wonderful. He keeps going down there off of video games and either making a fingerboard or just playing in the skate park with it. So that, that was really exciting. I was so glad that I got that done and he seems to really, really like it. Um, and he's 12 and I think just having that space for himself and showing our support for it really meant a lot to him. So that was yesterday and just doing things like that, um, you know, putting Christmas um, presents away and stuff like that. But I tried to get some crocheting in because I was very behind with the holidays and I finished this cardigan behind me, which we will talk about in this video. That's the reason for this video is to show you that finished object. Um, but I want to thank all my new subscribers because I have noticed that, um, a couple of, you know, new people have been commenting and they said that they came over from either recommendation, you know, on your YouTube channel or by hearing about me. So I want to welcome you and thank you. But I also want to thank my faithful subscribers. I was reading comments today and it's, it's so touching reading comments from people that have been here from the very beginning. Um, I just think it's, it's just, it's really something I can't put into words. It just means so much to me. Um, and I really do feel like you guys are my friends, not just subscribers. So I want to thank you all for commenting all the time and for supporting my channel and for supporting me. It means a lot. Um, I do have a giveaway going on. That was in the last video. If you didn't get in on it, um, I will have that video tied to the end of this one. So you just have to click on it. It was the one I showed you my last Hobie Advent calendar box. Okay, so this pattern was, it's called the Endless Eyelets Cardi. It's Mama N.A. Stitch. And 
this I made because I had purchased the mandala on, I think it was the Joann's um, Cyber Monday. So I think that's the only picture. Let me make sure, Let's see if there's another picture. Yeah, there it is. Now, you'll see here that it's much longer than I made it. And I can't figure out why. And I, I must be missing a page. It's the only thing I could think of. Because in this pattern, you start by chaining the number specified for your size. And then you basically just repeat. You do a single crochet row. And then you do row two and row three, which are the granny stitches. And you just repeat. It says... You repeat row three, I'm sorry, repeat row three and four uh, for the remainder of the pattern until it measures approximately, and then it tells you how many inches for your size. Mine was 31 and a half inches, so I did. And it measures like 31 inches, which was fine. Um, then you make, so you make, that's the back panel. <clears throat> then you make two front panels separate. And it says the same thing, you do the granny thing, um, you just chain less for each one. You repeat rows three and four for the remainder of the pattern until it matches the length of the back panel, which I did. Then you go to making the sleeves and it just says to make two and you chain the same number, you know, that they tell you to do for your size and it's basically the same pattern. Um, and then it says repeat rows three and four for the remainder of the pattern until it measures how many inches for your size, which I did. Now, the pattern is super easy as far as it's the granny stitch, so that's really easy. Um, the most challenging part was um, color controlling it because you want to match the sleeves to the... And since you're doing it, you're doing one, two, three with the back, separate pieces, four, five with the arms. So you have to color match the stripes in all five of those. Like that got a little annoying and a lot of waste. Um, and a lot of ends to tie in, but I wish, I wish it was done. I don't know how, but in a way that it was more attached, but after that, in the, in the pattern, it says assembly and seaming. And all it says for that is you can use a simple whip stitch for seaming together the card in it. And then it just says place two front panels directly on top of the back panel. And so, and then seam panels together at the shoulders and then seam panels together um, on, along the sides, fold sleeves, seam them, and then attach the sleeves to the cardigan. That's it. Then collar tells you just to do, attach it and just add it. Tie off, weave in eggs, block to shape and size as desired. Um, that's it. I used a six millimeter crochet hook. And I believe I made the medium size. Yes, I did. I made the medium size. So what I used was the mandala. Um, I think it was Warlock. But let me... Yes, Warlock mandala. Um, I don't know if you can see. That's the colors in it. And you'll see now. Um, and in the mandala, it's a size 3. It's a lightweight. You get 590 yards per cake. Um, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams or 540 meters. It's 100% acrylic. Um, I had four. Okay, so let me show it to you. I did get a new mannequin, but I have to put it together. So I still have to use my, just my body. So here it is. And you can see it's much shorter than hers. So I think... Because then she says if you want to add to the length, you could just attach the yarn and add to it or do more rows, whatever. But um, it, I don't know. I just thought that was strange. So anyway, um, I think this yarn worked up so pretty. I really, really love the color. Um, and just how it worked up was, um, you know, I, so this is the back panel. So I just did the back panel. And I didn't really color control. I did in the back panel. I just kind of let it go and I might have, there was a couple of hard breaks, you know, I would cut the yarn, but I let this go, right? So this determined what the whole um, sweater will look like, how this played out. And um, 
so pretty. I really, really like the way the colors played out. Uh, yeah, here, here's a heartbreak. That was the only one. Um, so really pretty. So then when I came to, to do this panel and this panel, then I had to match it up. So it matched up to the back and it's pretty good. And then the same for the sleeve. So that was, that's, that was the hardest part or the, it's not hard. It's just, you know, time consuming and a lot of ends to tie in. Then I didn't care what color yarn I had to do the, um, the border, like just around here, the collar, she calls it. Um, but it worked out great. I like that it came out with that neutral mustardy color. I think that looks really pretty along every color. Um, the sleeves are great. They're a little wide. Now, I'm sorry, I'm wearing a sweater and trying it on with that sweater. I don't think it's going to look great. Um, so I really, really liked that. Now, what I did was I experimented. I did the whip stitch on one side, and then I did a single crochet on the other, and I to join it, and I really prefer, this is the single crochet side, I think, let me double check. Wait, hold on. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay, this is the whip stitch side, which shows less of the seam, um, but you can still see it. I, I just enjoy doing the single crochet more, but you can still see the seam. But I always find, with granny um, stitch, seeing the seam is not a big deal. And then I did, let's see, I did the mattress stitch, which is my favorite way to join on the shoulders and for the sleeves. So they came out good. So that's it. It's the Endless Eyelets Cardi. I don't think I'd make another one, um, but you know, I do like the way it turned out. This is something I will wear. And I really like the colors and I like the feel of this, of the mandala. So all in all, it's a win. I liked it. I like the way it turned out. Um, but I don't know why I didn't, didn't love working on it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. It was okay. So that's it. I will put a link in the description box. I believe it's a free pattern. Um, from, I think you get it from Lion Brand actually. Um, so that is my finished object. Oh, and I used one of my new favorite hooks. One of my pretty ones. Love it. So what's up next? What? Oh, and then I, I just want to show you what yarn, how much yarn I had left. This is it. This is all I had left. <laughs> So, um, what you could do, um, instead of the way I did it, which, you know, I just did the back panel. Like I said, I just did it and then I matched up, um, and I matched up by saying, okay, so for the front, it was easy because it was almost a little less than half of what the back panel was, right? Cause you had like, I think there was like five clusters in the middle that, I'm not explaining this right. Here, let me show you. You know when you do the front, there's a little bit of an opening here for your neck. That, so it was a little less than half for each panel. So I counted how many rows in the back panel, let's say the purple was, and then I divided by two. So I would crochet in the purple for whatever number rows that is on one and then I go to the next panel and do the same thing. And I did it at the same time to make sure I had enough yarn and I wasn't gonna mess up and then I would just cut it off there. What you could also do is separate the um, cake and then just ball it up into little balls and then have all the colors out and then do it that way too. But I didn't do it that way because I just, winding it up takes a while and it, my cats torture me and then it gets all tangled. So it just worked out better that way. So, um, this is a crazy week because we're coming into New Year's and like there's not a lot going on, but you know, my husband's home from work, the kids are home from school. So, um, it is, it's crazier than usual. So, um, I'm not going to start any big pattern. What I want to do is I want to work on my Ophelia blanket, that crochet along I was working on because I got 
um, the first week done, I think. And um, just to remind you of what it is, because it's, I think it's just going to turn absolutely gorgeous. I have no idea what I just dropped. And this is, this is not the blanket. This is something else. Ah, here it is. When you're doing this crochet along, you do a sampler swatch because it's all different stitches. And you do this also because at the end, you don't tie in your ends. You're gonna do a double border around it and encapsulate them. So you practice on this. So this was week one stitches. And I checked off, because it gets confusing, but you have to change color per row. Every row you change a color, you cut it, and then it's a different stitch. So it says which stitch, and then it repeats. Um, so that is Ophelia, it's the, um, Ophelia Talks is her channel, and it's the Lizzie Blanket Cow. Um, and week one was Jane, and that's what I completed. And that's what this is, Jane. So I have to print week two, but this is, does this look like two weeks worth? Let me just see here. Repeat rows one through five, six times. Yeah. So this is right. So this was week one. Isn't it beautiful, guys? I love it. And I really, really love this is Stylecraft yarn DK, I believe. Stylecraft special DK. And oh, just it's so soft, so pretty. So I'm gonna work on that this week um, because I'd like to I'd like to get on a routine that I am actually doing, um, not letting weeks go in between them. Though again, I don't want to add pressure either, so I want to enjoy it. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, and I do have to print the pattern, watch the video, do the sample, and then I get into the groove with it but I'm loving the way it's turning out. And I'm using a 3.75 hook. So, and then you could use any yarn um, to do the sampler blanket because it's just to get to know the stitches and the sequence. And then at the end that you have something to practice the border on. So, these are all the beautiful colors. I'm gonna be working on that. So that should take me this week. But if by chance, here's my Jane, Jane Wynn bag from Scraptastic Yarns. I absolutely love this bag. How cute is that? And it came with a Notion pouch. I just love it. With my pink polka dots. Oh, I just love it. Um, so the other thing I might work on is, um, Let's see, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do some hats out of this yarn that I showed you guys that I got from um, the, the grab bag, the mystery bag. Um, Cause I'm gonna do some hats and use that chart to make sure I have enough yarn. So those are the, that's pretty much what I'm gonna work on this week up until the new year. Um, and then I'm going to start my Bag O' Day series again and um, some other fun stuff. So I just wanted to get this up to show you what I finished. Um, and I'm hoping I will show you my week two of the Ophelia, the Lizzie Blanket Crochet Along in my next video. Um, oh, and I also want to make dishcloth, like a not a dishcloth to wash with, but like a drying mat out of these um, cotton ease that I bought that I wanted to try um, for my kitchen. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done too. Um, but I think that's it for this video. I know it's super, like not super, super quick, but kind of quick. Uh, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope everyone's staying healthy. Oh, I wanted, I forgot to do something. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I got a Christmas card and I just got it from the mail from Hope Mahoney, who has a wonderful YouTube channel, Hopeful Crafts. Um, she sent me a beautiful Christmas card. 
and it says, wishing you delightful Christmas season, Merry Christmas. May your season be filled with yarn, love, and family. Merry Chris Christmas, Hope. I love that. I filled with yarn love and family could not get better than that but i will have her youtube channel linked down below it's awesome so please go and check her out all right so that is it for this video and i will see you in my next video bye